Welcome. It's the John Alban Textiles blog. It is. Um, we all work at John Alban Textiles. We do, yeah. Last we checked. <laughs> no one's left yet. <laughs> and this is number 19, this vlog. It is number 19, it yeah. is. So, so thanks for coming and watching us. Definitely, definitely. And we might be familiar faces to you, but if not, we'll introduce ourselves. So, um, yeah. yeah. Do you want to go first? I'm Helena, I'm one of the directors, along with me, I'm Sonia, also a director, and then we've managed to rope you in too today. Yep, I'm Lauren, I'm part of the marketing team as well. <laughs> you know, it's kind of part of, the, part of the whole job, isn't it really, get involved with the vlogging? Definitely. <laughs> Gotta be vlogging yep. in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks so much for joining us. And I think it was your idea, Helena, but uh, yeah, we've got a bit more of a, a, a fluffy mm. one today, a little bit less about what we're doing in the mill and a bit more about what we do when we're not at the mill, because yeah. yeah. we have the mill folk show and tell. Yes, yeah. so some well, of the projects, the mill, mostly we're... knitting then really, isn't it? <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> what we've been doing um, for the past, it's kind of a few months, because we filmed bits of this here or there so yeah some of them might not look the same we might have different hair who knows yeah um but yes it's different things we've been working on over the summer basically it is it's summer knitting yeah, yeah. and we've all been on it over the summer yeah actually we've got quite a few things it's yeah. quite surprising <laughs> we all like, i don't want to knit anything and then we went oh we've all bought all these things here. So, yeah. yeah it is like that a lot with crafting isn't it of like you think that you're not really producing anything mm -hmm. and then someone's like well, bring in everything you made in the last, like, two months and let's have a look at yeah. it. And you've got stacks, Lauren. I had three whole, well, two and a half things, anyway. Yeah. One's a whiff, but I still bought it in. So yeah. it okay, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. We've all got a few things. We do have a slight pink bias. Yes. yes. Which was unintentional, but several of us seem to have been working in pink. I mean, um, it is yeah. a favourite here, isn't it? Thing yeah. we can't, we can't help it. <laughs> we have a bit of green. Yeah, bit of a green. couple of green yeah. things and some other colours. I yeah. made a thing in a natural. Yes. So, you know. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, exactly. Yeah. And then we've got uh, Tash and Donna as well, showing off yeah. a few things, haven't we? So. And Laura and as Laura. well. So yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a few of us, and see what we've been up to. Definitely. Hello! Hells and I have made the same, we've just made the same clothes, we're very matching. Yes, <laughs> we got very excited when we made this colour of purple we did. for the Coleoptera silk blend that we just did like a month or two ago. It is, it's a month or two ago. Very few skeins left up on the shelf here behind me. Yeah. Um, but yes, we both wanted some, so, yeah. so I knew you made this delightful little vest. I did, I made a little vest and but you the, made a hat. And I made a hat. Mine is the Musselberg hat by Isolde Teague, mm. which is quite fun because if you see, you take it off, it's just a really long tube. It's, it's magic that, isn't it? So yeah, you basically, you start at one end, you knit your increases, you keep going until you've almost run out of yarn, and then you do the decreases at the other side. And then you fold it inside out and you have a very, very warm hat. It's perfect TV knitting, isn't it? I made yes. one, but it does start oh, getting like a well. weird length once it's almost time to decrease. You're like, oh my god, <laughs> this is like too long. Yeah. But it's very nice. But, but yeah, then, yeah, you don't have to hold it up as much, or you can fold it up some more. Yeah, it's grand, and it's just the best shade of purple slash pink ever. So yeah, and then you've got other. I've got a couple more other finished things. Yep. So this one is also uh, by Belonga Beck Anna. This is just a little teeny tiny headband. It's very cute. Which is, takes like a mini skein. And again, this one is held together with a little bit of mohair that was left over from something. But this one is in Yana Delic Wondrous Place, which is weird because it does not look orange. No, but that's because you've got the pink mohair It's got like a there. corally pink mohair in it. So yeah, this one took like, again, yeah, no time at all to make. It's very cute. And it is, it's basically just uh, I-cord braided, so we'll show you a close-up in a minute, but yeah, it's very easy to make that one. That one was my, I made that at Christmas, so make yourself something that's nice and easy and doesn't take very long, so you feel like you've made something in your holiday. 
<laughs> done something other than just lie on the couch going, ah, oh, too full. Yep, exactly. <laughs> you can do like, you know, a couple of inches at eye cord and feel like you've made excellent progress. <laughs> and then I'll bring over your final. Yes. This one is the Pyramid Cardigan by mini me knit design i think it is on ravelry also lovely and this is yeah so a little tiny like short sleeve to slash no sleeved cardi but the idea is that you can wear it that way around or that way around and obviously wear it the other way around as well so you can pretend it's a t-shirt or a cardigan so yeah that one and it's reversible so you can either have it like um, stockinette side out or like reverse, or reverse. And percy yeah. so curls out where you've got the uh, twisted um, rib it yeah. sort of works and it's the same like you've got a little bit of the rib down the back I and down twisted the rib but it is a bit of a bugger band. to knit isn't it it can be this it is very simple and because hard. it's not very big it's not too bad yeah um, but yeah and I haven't put any buttons or anything on this because where it can be entirely reversible on the sample she had uh, there's like see-through plastic little um, poppers I sort of didn't really want the little plastic poppers so I'm kind of leaving it where you can just do a shawl pin or yeah. little, like something to put you on it. You just need a, like a pretty little brooch like those yeah. ones on the chain would be really nice. Yeah and then also yeah if you want to wear it as a t-shirt you can just have it as a sort of open back to like do a couple of button type things on that but wear it that way around. It's nice that way round. I think that's what I would want to do. But yeah, this one is in Yarnadelic, but in the worsted. Um, and it's called Nobody Knows, this colour. Because is... it's got a little bit of every single colour in it. So nobody knows when we were naming them. We were like, well, is it grey? Is it green? Is it blue? This one very much looks like green when you knit it up like this. Mm. So yeah. yeah. But you can, when you have a look at the close up of the, that, you can see all the different colours in it. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I've been working on. Just a little bit of stuff. Well, this is so far this year and this is May. Yeah, so. that's true. That's <laughs> it true. has taken a little while. I have done other things. Like I made the little tiny animals that you saw on a previous <gasps> vlog. The little squirrel on I the don't little think we've shown folks Moosh. You haven't seen I Moosh? Don't, I don't think folks at home have seen Moosh because Moosh oh, was not So yes, because Hazel made it into a previous one, but then I also made Moosh, the little bear, in his little dungarees so he can work in the mill. He can work in the mill and we will be putting him to work. <laughs> he's just on, um, he's on some kind of, it's more theoretical training at the moment. Yes. Um, but we, we could build him a mini skein winder, couldn't we? Yes, I'm sure you could <laughs> find somebody who can craft a tiny, tiny little machine for him. A mini skein winder for the mini bear. Um, <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, he is from, uh, from Cynthia or Cynthia Valle's uh, book, Motion Friends, which yeah. we have copies of on the website. Yeah. As well as kits for both Moosh and Hazel the Squirrel. Definitely. He could do the labeling, actually. You could he get could him label on the, the sticker machine. Skates. Yeah. He could push the button. That's the one thing he does. He could operate a keyboard. That yeah. would be about his level. But um, Moosh is a commode bear which is an albino um, brown bear, or like a spirit bear. So that's why he's like a, just a gentle cream again. Like yeah, your classy sli jumper. slightly tan coloured, mm. but yeah. He's in our Knit by Numbers four ply minis. This is the palest of the mustard colours, 115. Mm. And then he's just got some navy dungarees on. Yeah, we did do some kits in some other colours too. We did, we did. Well, thanks for coming on the vlog, Hells. I haven't managed to drag. I'm getting all the people on the vlog this time around. It's very exciting for me. I just stand here and sort of look like a wally this time around. <laughs> Let everyone else do the talking. You've showed off your jumper. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah. And, um, you know, see you again soon, no doubt. You'll yeah. be on the on the open weekend one. Yeah, Won't I might be, be able to somewhere. avoid that. <laughs> So this isn't really a new whip anymore. Um, I think I finished it for Wonderwall back in April. So I've worn it to Wonderwall and then I wore it at the open weekend. And I've also worn it in my life a lot. Um, so it's not new, but I also haven't actually talked about it on the vlog yet. 
and I bloomin' love it. So it's probably my most worn kind of item of knitwear, especially in the summer, because it's got no sleeves. Um, so yeah, it's wonderful. Um, the pattern is in fact called Sleeveless <laughs> and it's by Lona Keelston and it's just a really beautiful kind of simple vest top um, and it's mostly in rib there's two different ribs going on um, and then there's this amazing kind of horizontal stitch in there which was a bit of a pain in the bum to do if I'm honest but also it's only for one row so you just have to persevere <laughs> Um, and then I added a little split hem, just like Lauren, love a split hem, can't go wrong. Um, I did mine a bit weird as well, because the split hem's a bit more at the front than it is at the back, but like, it's fine. <laughs> it's very slimming. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love it. It is in Coleoptera, which again is a special we did here in the sort of spring time I think maybe March or something and this pink shade is sold out but we do have some of this green just a little tiny bit of the green left and it is a blend of Devonia fiber and Appledore fiber and then there's also 10% silk in there so it's beautiful and luxurious and um, we did it as a sport weight so I used two skeins for mine, but I was literally, I think I had like half a meter left. So it might be a three skeiner really, unless you're like up for some dicey yarn chicken. Um, but yeah, there's my top. I think it's nice. It is. Here I am with Tash. It's the first time you're on the vlog, Tash. Hello managed to finally drag me on <laughs> after about a year and a half of threatening yes, I think isn't yeah. it <laughs> well welcome thank you welcome yeah. what are we talking about um I made some socks <gasps> you've made some socks I've made some socks so exciting shall I hold one up hold one up permission to hold one up yes here's a sock um it's pink it's pink unsurprisingly yes so we got this book charming colour work socks um, and it had the heart socks in but this book is amazing it's it is. Charlotte's book and there are just it's like a sock for every occasion yeah, isn't it crazy. there's like she's got chicken socks and Halloween socks and these are some really beautiful like tulip socks for spring it just pumpkin socks oh no those are oranges are they? yeah look they're, they're little they oranges let's see Cherries. Cherries. The cherries is cute. That might have to be next, you know. That's high on the list, eh? We'll see Ice making cream the socks. Cherries. Yeah. Little chilli socks. Yeah. I amazing. mean, Charlotte is a genius. They are all just wonderful, aren't they? Yes. And you've made the hearts. I've made the hearts and the other one is um, the other way around. It's not finished yet, though. Getting there. Almost. Almost, almost, done. almost done. And you've had a bit of a palaver with them, didn't you? Because it's one of your first colour work projects. You were very intrepid about it. Tash. Yes. <laughs> so I've made a few colour work jumpers, but just with like the yolks. Yeah. And I've done some very plain socks. Um, but I don't dive, dove in, dived in yeah. head first. Head and first. Knew I needed to do it, but I knitted them too small the first time round. So I got to about here, just before the heel, and then tried them on. They didn't fit. So I had to pull it all apart and start again. You brought them in, Agni Aunt Donna. Agni Aunt Donna said, there is no fixing this. It has to be undone. Donna is our resident uh, knitting knitting guru. I, I, the amount of times I message her or bring my knitting in for help, it's ridiculous really, but she always helps me out. Yeah. Yeah. So these are my socks. They're beautiful, Tash. Thank you for bringing them in. You're welcome. Do you want to grab the two shades of Exmoor socks so we can show folks? It's the two new. We had um, four new colours, and you've used two of them, haven't two you? Two of them. Fairy thimble and Peggles. And fairy thimble is a fox glove, which is the cutest thing in the world. And then Peggles are berries, berries. as you can tell, because it's bright red. Yes.
So I thought I'd show you a jumper I finished recently. Uh, I started this sort of springtime and I thought I was going to get it done just before we got into the hot weather but I didn't and um, I finished it in the height of summer or you know if you can call it summer what we've been having in the UK really. Um, but yeah it's, so it's sort of been um, it's, I've saved it for a few weeks, but now the weather feels actually a lot more autumnal, so I think I will be able to actually get my wear out of it soon. Um, it's the Chalet Days pattern by Samantha Gerin, and it, it's um, it's knit up in our squish iron that we did, and Sonia's going to pass me some to show you because we do have a little bit of the thing left in stock actually. So uh, yeah, this is a bit of squish. And um, we did it as sort of like a limited edition earlier in the year. We had the squish light and the squish dark, which is the two colours that you can see in this design. And it's uh, it's really lovely. It's it's like a, a mix of merino and alpaca. And I helped design this one. So I really wanted to make sure that I could make something out of it and use both of the colours. Um, and I do love it. We are actually going to bring back squish Aaron later in the year in a. Okay, in some uh, in some other colours, but a light and a dark. We we haven't um, quite got that decided yet, but yeah, keep keep your eyes keep your eyes peeled. Um, but yeah, I, I do love the pattern. I love the sort of graphic colour work. I think it works quite well with the with the yarn and the hat, you know the contrasting colours. In terms of that, any modifications and stuff. Uh, the only thing I did really was just to increase the ribs a little bit and um, just to make them a bit longer. Um, I did a little bit of a split hem as well because I like a split hem, although it wasn't really executed very well, so I won't place it on that. Uh, <laughs> but it's good enough for me, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I do love it and I think I'll get a lot of use out of it in the winter because I'm always cold, um, especially especially at the mill because uh, it does get a bit colder sometimes, so yeah, love it. <laughs> So we've got Donna here as well, she's going to share something lovely. What have you got, Donna? Hello Lauren, hello everybody! Right, this is my Yarndale project, which hopefully I won't be knitting up in the last evening like I did with my Wonderful project. Yeah. <laughs> we even in ends at two <laughs> in the morning. Ends, yeah. Actually, some of those still might be loose actually, I need to sort those out. <laughs> um, they can't see them. Yeah, they can't see them. <laughs> the Hidden in the pockets. Yeah. Um, this is the JMP cardigan in our Devonia DK. Yeah. Um, Bottom up construction, um, nice short rows on the back, and they will be short rows on the fronts when I've finished. Mm -hmm. I'm currently doing it's a tricky front. one to hold, isn't it? It is, one, but it's a really interesting construction. It's um, it's nice. Albiona McLaughlin, yes, and it's, yes, yeah. it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful pattern. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. So, it's a bottom up, um, short rows on the back and on the fronts, and then a three needle bind off for the shoulders, and then some sleeve time. So, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's going well. It's lovely and squishy in Aldervonia. It's so nice, yeah. and I've used the same colours as well for the little baby pattern. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it's going really well. And so. we thought we'd show you what bag she's using as yes. well because it's our um, local weekend special yeah, bag. Yeah, my project bag. Fancy, so that's a fun one as well. We've still got some of these available if you'd like to purchase one. With a little sheep run in the mill, and you can fit a sweater in. This is good. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good size. Yeah, it's lovely. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> um, so I've also made a shawl, and this I've made more recently. Um, this is my post-open weekend whip, and it is in, it's not actually technically our yarn, but I bought it at the open weekend, so I think it's okay. <laughs> Supposedly, uh, that's the rules, right? <laughs> um, so it is um, Telling Yarns, which is yarn by Beth. Um, and she was vending at the open weekend. We do spin the yarn for her, so it's sort of our yarn. But then um, Beth, who is a hand dyer, works her magic on it. And just makes it really gorgeous so we did have a special colorway at the open weekend called Agatha but I um, I'm on a bit of a pink thing like Helena me and Hells are on the pink thing so this shade here is called Gwen Stacy 
um, which is a character from uh, the most recent animated Spider-Man films, which I really enjoy them because they're animated like um, works of art or something. They're really beautiful. Um, so I yeah would recommend the films. And then Beth and I had a little bonding session over the name Gwen Stacy because I think the film was quite new when that happened. And so I had to cast it off. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice, big, easy, wearable, guard stitch, squishy number. Um, the pattern is by Heidi Kimmerer and it is called Jetstream. And her version is actually stuck in air, but my poor little hand can't do all that purling. So uh, I decided to just do it in garter stitch instead. Otherwise my little finger would get sad, so. <laughs> but it uses two skeins and I just kind of kept going until the yarn ran out. So I'm chuffed with it, it's really nice and big. <laughs> so I, I found a familiar face to you if you watch the vlog, but you won't <laughs> be used to um, seeing Laura in this room. No, I'm not really loud. It's too neat and tidy in here. Well, <laughs> you're the neatest one. You're much neater than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's more that you're busy. Yes, I'm usually very busy out in the mill making the wool to make yeah. all this happen. Yeah. Exactly. You're very integral to production. So <laughs> it's more that uh, Helena goes, you can't have Laura. <laughs> <laughs> can't spare me from the shop floor. <laughs> exactly, but welcome. Thank you. Well, what have you got for us today? Well, I've been knitting with some things, having a nice little time. I First off, I got to have a play with, um, wanted to use one of the new colours from Exmoor Sock. Um, so I really love Plushes. It's the sort of rich blue from the Exmoor Sock range. And I put it together with Dimity and Bell Heather, they're all like jewel colours, really like sparkly like jewels, I mean like emeralds and rubies, that kind of stuff. Here's plushes. There's two plushes. And then there's Dimity. Yeah. So I liked the way that they, those three Ooh, went gosh. together. I think they really like help each other look really nice. They're amazing yeah. together, they really sing. And uh, my neck just here is the bit that gets cold. So I've made some items to keep myself warm. Uh, so I made a cowl with Exmoor sock rather than making a sock. I've done uh, alternating rows of uh, the colours. Um, so just bring each of them out and it's very nice. Carefully put it on. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice that something that we design as a sock yarn doesn't have to be a sock yarn. Yes, you can use it in different ways. It's, it falls really nicely. It, it feels does soft. fall beautifully, yeah. actually. So I was really pleased. With it's how like it out. it's like a turtleneck, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah, like yeah, yeah. Exactly. which is what a cowl is. Yeah, yeah, it's so lovely. That's lovely, and I like the bright colours that they. I wear a lot of sort of grey, so it really nice. It zings against yeah. that. And the other thing I've made. Is always oh, a bit of a pattern plug for my own Ooh. pattern. <laughs> it's um, gorgeous, this. Though. I made uh, so my pattern called Maram is this little neckerchief. We've got one in the mill. Ooh, yeah, there it is. So that's the original one, the sample one done in Devonia for ply. Um, this is actually one of our specials from I think it was last year, the Mill Mall. The year before. The year even. before. Oh my goodness, it's been sat in my stash and finally I've done something with it. Time, you yeah. know. It just um, keeps going. Yeah, it's a mall of like a pale grey and a very subtle lilac y kind of colour. Mm. Um, but it's really nice and this coordinates with all my grey clothes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it worked really nicely, the cable came out nicely. It's beautiful. Defined. I've got a cardi in the dark. We had a pale version oh, yeah, in the yeah. dark. Um, and maybe I'll show that on show and tell sometime. Yay. But um, I've never seen the light one knitted oh, it's up. It's nice, really nice. It's really nice soft colour. Mm. Um, you know, not like a harsh grey that's just black and white because it's got that soft sort of um, 
purpley running through it. Mm. It just really like makes it nice against your skin, you know, doesn't drain the, mm. the colour. Yeah. So I was really pleased with that. Should I, I put mine on? Yeah, yeah. I'm it's enjoying wearing glasses. mine. It is like there's just a little extra bit yeah. of warmth. It is. The draft out. <laughs> there we go. They're lovely. Thanks. Oh, and is it just one mini skein? Uh, it's oh, it's annoying. It's just two. Depends how big your head is. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it's yeah, it's one and sort of just a bit. Depends when you stop knitting. If mm. you um, have it quite cosy, if you've got a small head to get over, um, you probably will do it in just yeah. one mini skein. But I put two on the pattern. Just um, in case. Yeah, because. Obviously, people have different size heads, yeah. and both times I've done it, it's been like 27, 28 grams, so yeah. it's just enough to sadly get that second mini skein. That's but then you've right. got a little bit left over in your second mini skein yeah. to do something exciting with. Add a little contrast stripe to yeah. something, perhaps? Yeah, no? for sure. Just thought I'd tell you about something else that I've finished recently. Oh, nice. um, so this is a look at my holes cup by James M. Watts. So I saw this pattern ages ago um, and I was like, oh, that just looks so much fun. I think it looks like really cool to wear. So I was like, right, I'm just going to have a go. It was a bit of an experiment, I think, for me. Um, I've not really made anything like this before in this sort of style, but um, it's in Alpaca Supreme in the um, sport weight and it's in the Kyanite away um so yeah it's uh it did have some modifications to it but um yeah it, i think the original one was quite cropped and i don't mind a little bit of a crop but it was it was too cropped it was sort of like a, you know a very risque length for me um but so, yeah i lengthened it a little bit and i did size up a little bit but i think gauge wise because i used a slightly heavier um heavier weight it sort of come out of where it should be in terms of the sizing um but yeah i really like it and it's just like quite a fun thing for me to you know it's, it's a bit of a change as i said and yeah it's not necessarily adding warmth um uh, like a lot of my knitwear but you know if that's not the point of this one you look cool though <laughs> oh thank you i don't feel cool very often these days um so yeah i um i do like it and um it's nice to wear with sort of like high-waisted trousers and jeans and things like that very good. Hello. Um, I made the thing and I finished it, unlike the other one. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is the Totally Tag Top by Jessie May, which is a nice little summer one to make. I made it an Exmoor sock, and this colour is actually last year's open weekend special colour dyed by Bohai Yarns. We also have a very similar one that's still available on Mill Memphis part of the website. Um, it's a little bit sort of darker but still a very beautiful colour. Um, but yes, to add to all the other pink things that Lauren is showing, I made something pink. Um, some people might spot that I was wearing this in the virtual open weekend on the Sunday. So you will have seen me wearing it as well. But yeah, I finished it just in time for that. Um, but yeah, um, her version isn't as fitted or as long and is not stripy. So I just extended the pattern down and obviously added the striping just to it. But yeah, it's a nice and extra sock and again very handy that I can throw it in the washing machine if I so chose. Yeah, that's what I do. Well, let's see you in it then, House. So yes, it works as a little summer top on its own, but also you could wear it as like a little tank over something else as well if you wanted it to be okay for other times of year. But yeah, it was very helpful when we did have a heat wave earlier in the summer. So we've got another pink pan. <laughs> Oh, wait, there's a lot of pink pan. There's a lot of pink. I know that's been the little theme for today. Oh, and they were pink. A lot of them are pink. Cool. We like yeah. pink. We do. We do also like other colours, but weirdly we're just all making things with pink. Mm -hmm. But yours is an open weekend special from a couple years ago. Yeah. It's last year. It was last year. Last year, yeah. yes. 
it's actually three of the colours are the colours me and Martha designed. So I obviously had to make something with them. It's beautiful as well. I love the like really relaxed kind of slouchy vibe of it. It just looks like such a cozy thing mm. to like slip on, pottering about the house or Yeah, and it's oversized and nice over like dresses and yeah. in the winter it'll be nice and warm. It'll be very warm in the winter. Yes. And it's in Apple Door, we should say. Apple Door DK. Doubled up. Is it doubled yeah. up? That's why it's so chunky. I was looking at it thinking, God, oh, it's so lovely. And yeah, flipping. it's doubled. It's amazing. Hmm. And what's the pattern called? It's called the Fame Jacket. Fame oh. as in fancy. Fame, yeah. 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 I can't remember what the person's called. She designed it, which is bad. We'll look it up. We'll look it up. And you can pop it in the description, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, it's just super fun, I think. It is super fun. Super fun is the right thing. Yes. It definitely is. Yeah, yeah. Fun. Gotta have fun clothes. Especially sure. with your uh, dungas. It's I know, it's quite, you're it's quite a look, isn't it? <laughs> it's beautiful. Yes. Well, hope you've enjoyed that little whistle stop tour through what we've all been up to. It's really nice to see, isn't it? What everybody's been up to, what yeah. they've been making. Definitely. Nice to see it in the flesh. Definitely. We do have a little chat thread, don't we? Mm -hmm. Where, but sometimes people have a little post it on and sometimes people don't post stuff. So, yeah. but it's much nicer seeing it, uh, you know, on a screen than it is just a photo of it. Yes. So, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. Hope you've got some inspiration to go away and get knitting. Yeah. yeah. We'll put link, um, a link or a description of what the different patterns are in case you needed to um, have a look as well, won't we? Definitely. And if you're use, if you're making something, we'd love to hear what you're making Absolutely. too. Like, definitely let us know because um, I think that's the best bit of crafting, isn't it? It's just sharing it with people. So, yeah. And we all like doing the, the monthly roundup on Instagram of all yeah. the beautiful things yes. that people have made and tagged us in. So exactly. So tag us in what you do, just so we can have a, mm -hmm. so we can be nosy and have a look, and yeah. uh, we can you know show it on ourselves and add more patterns to our never-ending queues. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's always the danger, isn't it? Very, <laughs> Very definitely. Well, whatever you're up to over the weekend, we hope you have a good one, and um, yep. we'll be back at some point fairly soon with a little glimpse of our annual yeah. oh, no. Very exciting. Exciting. it's actually happening yeah. actually happening <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye. bye.